<coughs> I'm choking now. I'm spicy. She loves it. Yes. You're a man. Do the heavy lifting. Be for real with yourself. Like, you know, know your limits, ladies. It was pink. You know I had to have it. Next day should be no. Amazon Prime. Hello. I am not a Bob the Builder at all. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It has been whew, quite a minute. I'm not gonna lie. It's been quite a long time since I've been on here, but we are back and we're better than ever. So it's gonna be a getting my life together getting my shit together type of vlog so come along with me i feel like every single vlog i'm like let me get my life together my life is not together but listen we are human it's like that halfway point throughout the year so i feel like it's time to like you know reevaluate some of our goals some of our intentions and figure out what we need to do to get us where we need to be by the end of the year am i right or am i right <laughs> So today I need to go to the mall desperately to get some Nespresso pods. I'm like completely out. I used my last one this morning. So I'm gonna go to the Nespresso store. I also wanna go to Winners because I need like new bath mats. I like cleaned my whole house yesterday. I did like a whole reset and I cleaned my bathroom and I just feel like even though I wash them like every week, they're like kind of dingy looking. Like I had a few sets that I would swap out but I just want like some fresh new ones. You know, like it's kind of like towels. Like you need like new ones every now and then. I'm also looking for like some bathroom shelving in shower shelving because I had got a set from Amazon and it broke. I don't know if I like loaded it up too much because I have like a lot of stuff in my shower, but yeah, it ended up breaking. So I need a new system, like a new like bathroom type setup. So we're definitely gonna look out for that as well. I also wanna go to shoppers because back at Christmas time, me and my girlfriend got each other these perfume sets. So basically you pay for like the price of a perfume and then you get a bunch of samples and then you can choose which perfume you wanna get. We usually do it every single Christmas for each other and we haven't gone yet and it's like, six months later so that's what's on the agenda for today i do need a coffee because every single day i've just been getting starbucks like literally and like enough is enough like girl you need to make your coffee at home stop drinking your eight dollar lattes like it's getting ridiculous because i don't want to drink coffee at like 4 p.m no 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 i need to be able to sleep tonight i also have therapy later on today so i'm trying to get all this done so that we can get home in time and head to my therapy appointment. So I was telling y'all earlier that I didn't get to make a coffee this morning because uh, we had one pod left, one Nespresso pod, and I graciously sacrificed that to my girlfriend. I was like debating whether or not I'm gonna like, you know, just go to Nespresso and like go home and make a coffee, but I just feel like it's gonna be too late and I'm gonna be like too pushed for time. But I'm so over Starbucks. Like I've been drinking Starbucks basically every day and like I want something different. And I keep hearing about Wendy's like has this new like iced coffee and i tried their breakfast the other day it was fire like so fucking good so i really want to try their iced coffee it's basically like a frosty iced coffee so i'm gonna try it today because like i need caffeine like real bad like real bad i hope it's good because i'm pretty picky when it comes to coffee hi there how can i help you hi um you guys have the frosty coffees you want frosty? Uh, no, you guys have like the frosted coffees, right? We have frosty chinos, yeah. Anything else for you? Uh, no, that should be everything. Okay, it's all gonna be two dollars ten cents. Thank you so much. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Hopefully, it's good. Also, I have no nails. We're gonna ignore that, okay? Do not come for me. Do not. I already came for myself. I already ripped them off. But we're gonna be getting that together, and I'm gonna get my nails done in a few days. Hi. It's gonna be two ten. Perfect. Credit, please. There you go. Thank you. No you too it's tiny this is so small also you guys i have a hack so i hate paper straws like i'm sorry like i'm pretty sure they do paper straws here they do paper straws everywhere now in canada yeah paper so i literally cannot stand paper straws i feel like not only does it like oh my gosh lady are you kidding me this grandma almost just ran me over um what was i saying she distracted me Oh, I feel like not only does it make your drink taste bad, like I feel like it kind of changes the taste of your drink. It gets soggy in like three seconds. Like you can't even enjoy your drink. So whenever I go somewhere that has like plastic straws, I literally stock up and stick them in my car. I have like a little stock in my glove compartment. I have like 20 straws in there. It's not like 
the turtles, you know what I mean? Like these are like compostable. So it's still not like killing the turtles, still save the turtles and all that, but at least it's like plastic. It's not gonna like melt in your cup. But let's try out our little frosty chino. It's so tiny. It looks so good and delicious. <sighs> I'm excited. Mm -mm. This guy is wild. Mm, this is good. Mm, yeah, it's giving frosty a little bit. It kind of reminds me of my chocolate protein ice coffees, but it's better because obviously it's not protein, like it's just sugar. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. That receives a eight out of 10 for me. One, Especially for the two, price, it was cheap, it was like three, two bucks. How cute are these BB packing cubes? It's like a three set. And they have a blue one as well. Like I already have packing cubes, but I think this is so cute. Hey y'all, it's editing Melody here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do a voice note for the rest of my little winner's finds because I'm not sure what happened to my audio. I think I had my finger on the mic or something, but I thought this painting was so dope. I wish she was a little more voluptuous if you know what i'm saying it's louis vuitton <laughs> fake louis and then i saw these so cute i've seen these all over tiktok my sustainable bad bitches these are like reusable paper towels and they're lemons so freaking cute and then i saw these these are so nice for underneath your sink storage i really need to get something together with that because underneath my bathroom storage right now is a wreck i didn't buy these because i want to like plan out how i want to organize my shit and then i'll buy something Ooh, next i saw this what do you guys think this is what does this look like comment it down below right now because i was shook i was like at winners at winners but wait for it it is a oil dispenser y'all an oil you're supposed to put oil in one side and vinegar in the other and then like you have your little salad dressing i was shook not what i expected i really wanted to get a new egg container i want like a rolling egg container mostly the ones that i had seen was just kind of like the one i already had like i have two that i use but i want something that like i can grab two eggs or something and then you know what i'm saying the rolling egg thingies so i did end up finding one but as you all can see it's kind of small and I usually get like a big old thing of eggs. So I need the one from Amazon. And I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet. This was cheap. This was 20 bucks. I almost bought it, but just too small for me for what I was looking for. Next. Oh my gosh, you guys. I had to use my restraint on this one because there were so many freaking cute pink cups. I'm obsessed. I'm a pink girl. As we know, we know this. And I almost bought this. I had it in my cart the entire time. And then last one, I was like, sis, like you literally just bought two of these. Cause recently I have bought two of these from Costco, not in pink. I regret my decision, obviously going back for this because I just love pink, you guys. So many cuties, so many cute pink girlies. I'm, I'm sad watching this footage, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, I am sad. These are so dope. Whenever you go to Winners, make sure to look at the glassware. I always, always check it out because there's always something cool. And I need a new glass, like I need a hole in my head, so I did not buy these. This is the cutest effing thing I've ever seen. It's for your honey. Um, It was broken, otherwise I probably would have bought it. But it came with this little honeycomb. You guys, I'm obsessed. And I just bought new Manuka honey. Girl, I wish it wasn't broken. I definitely would have bought it. How cute is this little slushy candle, you guys? I love winner's candles. I've always been a fan. 
always get my candles from winners so much cheaper than like bath and body works or basically anywhere else they even had this cute little aesthetic cactus not really my vibe but for you desert bitches go ahead nice and these cute little luggage tags lgbt you guys lgbt friendly over here hi you guys so we are back in the car um that was a successful trip honestly Got a few stuff at winners got my pods i also got the fragrance that i was telling you guys about i'm gonna cut on the air because it's hot as you guys can see like i'm sweating it's hot you guys it's 26 it says but it feels like hotter you know those ones where it's like humid and sticky um anyways i'm actually gonna head straight to my appointment i don't have time to go home at all just because it's already four o'clock and my appointment's at five and it's in another city so i don't want to be late because i was late last time so i'm just gonna head there when i get back home i'll show you guys a haul of what i got i'm so excited for my fragrance to you guys like period and it like felt free even though it wasn't free it felt free you know what i mean and i seen how much it was it actually was like 148 which is more than what i paid for the set i think i paid like 115 for the set so i'm actually saving money period i love that i got myself a little drinky i don't know if you guys have ever had these i love them i used to drink them as a kid so like they kind of remind me of my childhood they're the sparkling ices this one is cherry limeade i'm excited like every time i drink one it literally is giving me when i was like 13. there's also no sugar in this and no like calories which i like as well Mmm, it tastes like a cherry slushy. Hello, you guys. I am back from all of my errands and the mall. And I thought I would just show you guys. What's oh, a weird angle? <laughs> Sorry about the angle. What I picked up from Zemol. Of course, nowhere has bags anymore, so you already know. I had to make do what I do and stuff everything into my Nespresso bag. So from Winners, I showed you guys a bunch of stuff. I didn't end up getting too much because I feel like I'm trying to like, you know, buy what I need and all that. But I did get this salad spinner. So freaking cute. It's pink, so I had to get it. But the reason why I got it actually is because it's like one of those pump ones. And my one right now is like kind of like manual. This would be much easier. And then obviously it was a super bonus that it was pink. This was $14.99, I think. Yeah, $14.99. And then I did end up finding a bath mat. So I got this bamboo bath mat. I just got one for now to try it out. I actually really wanted to get like a stone bath mat. I've been seeing those all over TikTok, like the stone ones that you put by the bath and then it dries up like instantly. I couldn't find one there, so I might look on Amazon if this doesn't work out. Like I'm gonna try this first because this was only $24.99. So I'm gonna give this a try and then it is supposed to dry very quickly as well. Um, I haven't seen too many people with the bamboo ones, but I have seen a few and they said it's basically like the same thing as the stone, you know, like it dries pretty quickly. It's antibacterial and it doesn't hold on to any moisture. Okay. The last thing I got from winners, this was definitely not a need like at all. I swear like everything at winners, like is not a need. Like you go to winners and winners tells you what you need actually thank god i went there with a the list like i wanted the bath mat and i got it <laughs> the other things that i bought i did not need but this was just like too cute to pass up and i love like little decor pieces i don't know if you've noticed around my house i have so much decor and like i don't know i love it it brings me joy so how cute is that you guys how freaking cute is that so it's just like a candle it doesn't smell great like it's not my um cup of tea i think it's pink peony so yeah like it's just very floral i'm not very into florals at all i'm more of like a vanilla woodsy kind of girl especially when it comes to candles but yeah it's all right i bought it not to burn but just for like decor it's so freaking cute it's just like a cute little bubble candle and i'll probably end up putting it on my dish here i need to redo my dish on my dining table because i haven't redone it in so long like this is from like spring i still have like my springy candle which I didn't burn either. I burned it like once for a video. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna end up finding a place for this because I just thought the color is like my literal favorite color ever. And it was pink. It was pink. You know I had to have it. Now let's get on to Nespresso. My bag is kind of beat up now. But first of all, y'all, Nespresso 
is expensive okay like all of this coffee has cost me like 70 dollars i'm trying to find my receipt to show y'all but like i was like damn okay i got six and it was 75 dollars like that's crazy 75 dollars i guess that's like 60 pods right yeah because i think each one of these has 10 pods i stocked up so i'm probably good for like a month or so and to be fair one starbucks coffee is like eight dollars so in the long run it's an investment and i'm saving money or at least that's what i'm going to tell myself because sheesh that was that was more than I thought. The reason why I actually wanted to go in store was because I think this flavor was sold out online. So this is the coconut, tropical coconut flavor over ice. So they came out with this last year and I loved it. I bought like seven sleeves of it. This one is a little different. So this one is supposed to be over ice. So I feel like when they make the coffees over ice, I just think that means like it's like less strong. So we'll see how I like it. I did end up getting three sleeves of it just in case I do like it. <laughs> I want it to be stocked up. Tomorrow, I'm gonna try out my coconut pods because those I'm like most excited about. And then I got a few others. So I got one sleeve of the Voltesso. I am like 100% sure that I'm butchering these, but I have tried these ones before. I think this is like a single espresso. So I like to get those for iced coffees because I feel like I put like two and it makes the coffee like quite strong. This one is Bian Bianco Dopio. So this is a double shot. So like that one was a single shot. This one is a double shot, I believe. And it's for milk. So this one is really nice and light. I had some of these when I got my new Nespresso. They gave me like the whole set of like to try. And this was my favorite pot out of all of them. So I wanted to get a sleeve of that. And then last but not least, this one I wanted to try. I've never tried it before, but I had seen somebody else talking about it on YouTube. So I was like, mm, that sounds like something I'd be into. This is the Barista C Creations Sweet Vanilla. I love a vanilla coffee. I love a vanilla iced coffee, but I am really excited to try these ones as well. And then I got a mop, but that is like neither exciting or relevant. To our video but i mean i guess it is because i'm getting my life together and i needed a new swiffer so bad like my other one literally broke down on me while i was cleaning yesterday so that is it for today's little tiny haul i am gonna put this up and then i'm actually gonna go cook dinner right now i'm so hungry hangry so i'll survive but yeah i'm gonna cook some pasta and then i'll probably check in with you guys tomorrow Sorry if y'all heard that. I don't know. Some kids is fucking each other up outside. Hello, everyone. It's been quite a few days. I'm honestly not sure how long it's been since I last talked to y'all, but it's been a while. Today is Saturday. Yes, Saturday. I just finished putting this on. I'm smothering it all over my body. So good. I'm obsessed. If y'all didn't see my Trader Joe's video, I'll leave it linked down below. I went to Trader Joe's for the first time in like probably 10 years, over 10 years maybe. So I went in. I just finished work, came home, had a shower, started the three hour process of detangling and washing my hair. Thank God it's finished. So threw it up. But this lotion just smells so freaking good. Like, I'm obsessed. I'm sad that I didn't buy more. Like, I only bought one. And how cute is the packaging? Just, just girly things. Just self-care things. But I wanted to unbox an Amazon package with you guys because they recently did, like, their Prime Day sale. And I got some stuff. A lot of the stuff is, like, back order, which is crazy to me because I thought that, like, it's supposed to be next day shipping. No. Amazon Prime. Hello. Like, I pay for Prime, where is my packages at? Because I ordered this stuff on like Monday and I only got my first package. And I don't even know what's in there because I haven't checked my app, but I don't think that it's all of my stuff. I think we're still gonna be waiting because I ordered quite a few things, as we do. As we do, you guys. Okay, so let's see what we have in here. Go down, ho. Go down. All right, so I'm gonna tilt you guys down so you can get a better look skis there's a big box and a little box what's in here Ooh, gemini this is for gemini you guys so freaking cute i ended up getting her a uh, new scratching pose it's a lollipop so i guess you had to put it together but it was so freaking cute i was either between this one or a mushroom 
Uh, I did like a poll on Instagram because I was like, I don't know which one to get because they're both so freaking cute. But I'm glad I went with this one because oh my gosh, how adorable is that you guys? Like, are you kidding? So freaking cute. I liked this one better because the other one had like green grass. Like this, it was really cute. It was like these two little pink mushrooms, but it had green grass on the bottom. And I'm like, I was kind of worried she's gonna pee in that and like think we're like outside or something. I don't know. I'm gonna put that together with y'all in a second. But I think this is my, yeah, this is my alarm clock. So cute. It looks like an iPhone. So I've been really wanting an alarm clock, y'all, because basically I'm trying to not be on my phone an hour before I go to sleep and an hour after I wake up. But I always wake up like kind of like periodically. I like to wake up and I check the time because I just want to know like should I sleep in more or whatever because I generally don't really set an alarm to wake up. I just kind of wake up when my body wakes me up. But that being said, it's kind of annoying because I have to check my phone, right? Like every single morning I'll pick up my phone because I'll leave it right by the bed, go to sleep, and I'm checking my phone. Oh, what time it is, right? They say you should wait an hour before you go to bed and an hour after you wake up before touching your phone. And I was doing it for a while. Like I was doing it for almost two weeks. And I just got into this habit where like, I would check my phone to check the time and then I'm gonna get on my phone, you know, cause it's like right there, it's just easy. So I've gotten back into like the bad habit of being on my phone first thing in the morning and I wanna stop it. So I wanted to just get an alarm clock just to help me so I can like wake up, see the time. If it's not time to get up, go back to sleep, girl, period. And I don't have the excuse of, you know, oh, I, I need to check the time on my phone. Oh, I'm gonna go on my phone. I'm gonna sit on my phone for an hour. Like, no, no more. So I ended up getting this one. Of course, it's pink. So freaking cute. It's like literally looks like an iPhone, y'all. Like dead ass. So, oh my gosh. This is so cute. It's the back. I guess this is like the little stand clippy thingy. And then this is the screen. You can see you guys. Let me see. So I guess this, this one, you peel it off. I think you plug it in. There must be like a... Cord. Yeah, there's a cord because I, I don't think it's battery operated. So you plug it into the wall or whatever. And then how do you put on the stand? It is battery operated actually. Is it? No. Have to plug it in. It goes right here. So it must just click in. And there you have it. So cute. How cute is that? Obviously when it's turned on, you'll be able to see like it's not a mirror. It's like an actual, oh, this is an actual mirror. Like I can fully see myself. Uh, but when it's turned on, you'll be able to see you know, the time and everything, and it's just so cute. So aesthetic. I'll leave this link down below. This was on sale for Prime Day, but I'm not sure if it still is. I think I got it for under 20 bucks. Let's make this a lollipop, you guys. Let's get into it. I hope it's easy because I am not a Bob the Builder at all. Usually Empress does this type of stuff for me, but I'm gonna see what we can do. And pray for me, pray for me. I'm also watching Survival of the Thickest on Netflix. I just started it. I'm on the first episode, but I like it so far. You know, I love me a thick body. So I'm going to play this and we're going to see if we can make a lollipop. I left the instructions, y'all. Me? How was I supposed to do this without them? Also, how freaking cute is my phone case? I'm sorry if you can hear the air blaring. Um, my AC is right there. Honestly, it's way too hot today to not have it on. So bear with me. Uh, but yeah, this case is so cute. I just got it from the Dollar Tree actually. It was a dollar fifty. And I've seen these all over like Amazon and other platforms and they're like 10, 15, 20 bucks. So go to the Dollar Tree girl, get you a 150 case, period, and save you some money. I love a good bang for my buck. Alright. Let's let's get to it. I'm I'm procrastinating now. I'm trying to put this off.
are done. We are literally done. That was so easy. It took me less than 10 minutes. It's done and it's so freaking cute. And it was really cheap too. I think this was like on sale. Normally 45, I think I got it for 30 because of the Prime Day. Has these two little palms like how freaking cute is that? The cats are already going crazy. I'm actually cat sitting right now. My friend's cat, so I have not one, but two cats. Hi, Wayne. -y. This is Wayne, you guys. This is Wayne. He's so fluffy and friendly. He's just a little fluffy man. He loves love. Y'all can't even see him. Hold on, there we go. He's so big compared to Gemini, but I love him so much. Look, Wayne. Look, wow. You love it? Hopefully this will keep her from f***ing up my couch. As you guys can see, she shreds the entire bottom of it. The other one is worse. She does have a scratching post, but I feel like she doesn't like it because it's not cute. She's, she's like mother like daughter. She's like me. She's an aesthetic girly. I'm gonna let them do their thing, y'all, but I'm very, very pleased with this purchase. It's really sturdy, super easy to put together. Again, I will leave it linked down below. Hi, Wayne, I'm gonna miss you so much. I'm gonna miss little Wayne and my little Gemini. I love her so much. And they get along, you guys. They're like best friends. Okay, Gemini. Play with your Vinny. Like, how aesthetic is this? I don't think you guys are taking it in. This matches me perfectly. It's giving Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <gasps> She loves it. She loves it. She's a pink girl, just like her mama. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let y'all go. I will check back in when I have something interesting that I'm doing. So you guys, I am coming at you from the car. It's a little bit later now. My hair looks crazy. I just went for a coffee with Sheena. Um, we did like a little walk. I got some steps in and now I'm at uh, the water place that I get my water at because I like to get alkaline water. Um, so as you can see, I have all my bottles in the back there because I'm completely out of water. I've been out of water for like about a week. I've been buying bottled water. Not good, not good Melody. So we're here to get our lives together as I said in the beginning of this video, and to re-up on our alkaline water, our pH balanced water. So let's go do what we need to do. Awesome. You need a receipt? Oh, no, that's okay. You can just seat wherever, yeah, thank you so much. On the seat or the floor, whatever works. All right, y'all, so we got our water. They're so helpful here, they're so nice. They literally loaded up all my water for me, you know, like, yes, you're a man. Do the heavy lifting, you know what I mean? <coughs> I'm getting choked by my sanitizer. Um, but we got a skirt, we gotta get going because I'm working later. It's two right now and I'm working at like, I think four. Yeah, I think I wanna say four, so. I gotta get going. I'm gonna go home, probably leave these bottles in the car for my girlfriend to bring up. Because again, I'm just a, I'm just a woman. I'm just a girl, okay? I can't be lifting up five gallon of waters. Like, BFFR, be for real with yourself. Like, you know, know your limits, ladies. Know your limits. So, I'm definitely gonna leave the heavy lifting to my girlfriend <laughs> later this evening. I'm not sure if I'll check in with you guys again, but the only thing I might do is I really need a car wash like bad. I've been going to the beach like once or twice a week. So first of all, my car is full of sand. I need to vacuum so badly. All the seats, there's like sand. I don't understand how so much sand gets in the car with me. Cause it's like a walk up from the beach. How does like, ask yourselves y'all, how does so much sand get in your car from the beach? Cause I literally have like a whole sand pit in my trunk. It's ridiculous. So I need to vacuum up my car and I really need to wash it as well because I recently did a road trip. So yeah, maybe we'll go through the car wash and then head home. I feel like that's what it's giving. Welcome to Shine Auto Wash. To get started, please select your car wash by pressing one of the buttons on the screen. Please select your method of payment by pressing... 